You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Better call the coroner, Phelps, and the captain. We're gonna be in the doghouse for smoking this punk. Let me get this straight. In all the time you spent in the army, in basic training, in officer school, at the police academy, at no point during that time did anyone teach you how to control a fucking automobile? You destroyed God knows how many vehicles, you terrorized citizens throughout East Downtown, and we haven't got a goddamn thing to show for it! You were on street duties until such time as I see fit to assign you another case. Now get the hell out of my sight. Now where shall I start? With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free? Or with the female suspect, who I am reliably told, slipped the leash with embarrassing ease? You just lost the chance to crack one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. How do you think that makes me look? The chief has my balls in a frying pan! Now get out there and fill some charge sheets. Misdemeanors if you have to. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again, and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! Now, lads, what am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream, and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting. Just for once, I would like to be able to send my girls to school of a morning and not have to worry about what might befall them on the streets of this fair city. You two are doing nothing to allay a father's fears. Unsolved homicides weigh heavily on this department, young Phelps. Your latest case is an embarrassment to me and your colleagues. A stint in blues rounding up pond life should renew your vigor. Apprehend anyone and everyone you find flouting the law. At the double now! I'm going to assume that you both have very good excuses for what happened to my station today. You had a perfectly good candidate for a capital case, and somehow managed to choose a weak-willed sub-sister while the murderous Red walks got free. I'm having doubts about what you're prepared to do to make a case, Phelps. If ever there was a time for manufacturing evidence or extracting a confession, this was it! Now get out of my sight! Run down pickpockets and fruit flies and lead the real work for men of substance. The reefer soup fiasco! 
That's what they're calling this foobar case that you brought me. All the beaners are going to skate. Reefer crazed Mexicans carrying enough ordnance to outfit an airborne company in my goddamn jurisdiction, and they all walk. What about Sanders? Victor Sanders? Are you kidding? If Sanders started naming names, the dailies would have to run special editions for a week. Put a stack of convictions on my desk by 9 a.m. Monday morning, or you can start clearing out your desk. Dismissed! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh... No, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? is it no just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second how is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station conduct extensive interviews sift through mountains of evidence with lynch and pinker and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy i took a chance on you phelps people said i was crazy and you made me look like a jerk you may not be much of an arson investigator but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. What the hell kind of desk do you think I'm running here, Phelps? You think you can waltz around this city starting riots, harassing pillars of the community, and wantonly destroying the property of the L.A. Transit Authority? I don't care if you're not happy slumming it in this squad. You either get yourself squared away or hand in your goddamn badge. You're on street duty until further notice. Get out of my sight! We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. 
I've warmed them up nicely for you. Phelps! You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. 